Hi guys, Gunji Bear, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Thanks to Odoving, uh, we're now in Skuldafen, which is the last bastion of uh, Alduin. We're hot on his heels, and all that's left for us to do really is uh, just to clear out that little, whoops, that little uh, temple just through that door. So yeah, let's get it done. Uh, now, first things I should do really is um, charge up the old bow because uh, it's been a while. And to be honest, I could do with using up some of these gems as well. Because we're not going to be doing any more enchanting at this point in the game. So, whoops. There we go. So yeah, let's get this done. Now as you remember, there's lots of Draugr um, in this area, so we've got to be quite careful. Um, but at the end of the last episode, we took one of them out just over there. There he is. So hopefully, it should be pretty much plain sailing now. So, that's you searched. Whoops. And I think there's a chest somewhere around here as well. Let's see the other guy we took out on the stairs. So just loot him. You be passed as well. And then I think the chest is somewhere around here. It's like I say, I normally play this game from memory. There it is. Uh, which is never a good thing. <laughs> So you got a potion and some random loot. Uh, don't worry too much about this tower. Uh, we will be getting to that in a second. Uh, but for now, we need to clear this uh, temple as quickly as possible. So uh, let's get it in. Get our sneak on and go through the big ass doors. Okay, so it's pretty quiet in here to start with, which is good. Lots of things to loot though. Now you got two choices, you can either go left or right, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I tend to go this one first because there's a chest just up ahead. Uh -oh. And I've just alerted all the Draugrs, never a good thing. Because you know these guys shout and it can be a one hit kill. If you're not careful. Now is this guy flanking me? I think he is. Yep. Got a friend? Yep, he has. <laughs> Had a friend. <laughs> that's pretty easy, that's one way of doing it. Uh, not the ideal, I'll be honest. But as you can see, there's a, um, a trap here, stopped by that pressure plate, which is a poison dart trap. But you know, for me, not a problem, it's got a light foot. There's another trigger over there. Uh, but like I say, I tend to go for the other way just because it's a bit easier. Oops. As you can tell as well, I'm fumbling a bit because um, it's been ages since I've played this. I've been playing quite a lot of Destiny uh, for some reason. It's kind of I've got a kind of love-hate relationship with that game in that um, I hate to love it, to be honest. But it's taken up quite a lot of my time recently, so it's good to get back to Skyrim. Okay, now I've got to be careful because I can never remember if there's three or four Draugr here. You don't have any war hammer because it's too heavy. Pretty much all these urns have something in them as well because obviously this place hasn't been um, frequented by grave robbers for obvious reasons. It's Roger Central. So let's check these ones. And yeah, let's carry on our merry little way. Fail arrows as well. <laughs> so again, it doesn't really matter which way you go. They both lead to the same place. And whoops, there's one. I'm so thankful that my sneak is so high. Because sometimes I just walk into things. Oops. Go check out the arrow. Thank you. So yeah, that could have gone a little better. <laughs> Let me just quickly loot these guys. Oops. I've got more. Oops. Yeah, you can tell I've not been playing this for a while. And I actually sucks. I 
nothing else all in there. Can I remember if there's anything? No. Alright, let's press on. Um, so we've got a first little puzzle to solve. It's this one here. Obviously there's two choices, two gates, and you can open both of them. Uh, one of them just has a treasure chest in it, which I think is this one. Uh, let me show you now. Yeah, as you can see there's a treasure chest there, but it's caved in. Um, and uh, the puzzle is kind of a bit of a doozy, to be honest. It took me a while to figure it out, but anyway. Uh, so there's a snake, and this is where it's looking, so obviously we need to have a snake there. I'll leave that one for now. This one is a whale, so obviously this one here needs to be a whale. Okay, so far so good. And then we've got snake and an eagle. So if we go for the eagle first in the middle plinth, which is facing this way, now what it should do is open that one there on the right, or at least that's the theory. There you go. And then if we change it to a snake, it should now open the one on the left. Sweet, and that's it. So it's not too hard to be fair, but it did take me a while <laughs> until I worked it out. So, uh, yeah, do forgive me. Nice, take all of that. And again, if I do miss any chests or anything like that, do uh, leave a comment uh, so other people find them. Because, uh, you know, we're all here to help each other at the end of the day. And let's press on in. Like I say, I'm rushing a little bit because I do want to get... I'm quite eager to get into Sovereign Guard now. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to die stupidly because that would just be embarrassing. Now, yeah, I can see the Death Lord, I think it is. Oh no, just normal scourge. So kneel before me and die before me. <laughs> I can never remember if these two are open or not. So I guess we'll soon find out. Hey buddy. Oh, you're an archer, eh? very slowly. I think, is that all of them? Yeah, I think it is. So, nice one. <laughs> and for some reason my little hit sound isn't registering anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, we'll survive. And where'd that death lord go? Oh, he's in there. Well, that's where we're going, so it's not a problem. Just loot this body. And gimme, gimme, gimme. Oops. No, we're not that one. <laughs> there we go. I can't wait for a legend this. Nice. And then we go into the spider infested caves. <laughs> Sword gets too heavy. Now, for these guys, there's not really much point Oops. wasting the good stuff, so might as well trade uh, our arrows out. Obviously, there's any more dry death lords and stuff that I will switch back just, just to speed things up more than anything else. But these guys, you don't really need it. You can see one hander down. So, not worth wasting uh, dragon bone arrows because I do have the perk where you'll get most of your arrows back, but it's 50 50. I mean, you see that one there didn't give me an arrow, that one did, and uh, this one did as well. But you can't really rely on that. So, if you've got arrows that are pretty good in short supply, you might as well want to switch them out, which is why I'm carrying around the ancient Nord arrows, to be fair. Um, I'd rather use them on lesser enemies. Sometimes it'll let me break it, but not this time, so... There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Didn't that time, though. No. I can never remember if there's a Draugr hidden in the side of the wall.
Oop, there's Daddy Spider. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Not sure what happened there. There's normally chest in there as well. So I might as well get it. Egg sacks, as you know, uh, spider eggs with uh, L's ears. Uh, makes quite a good uh, 45 maximum potion, which is pretty much any archer class needs. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Oops. And we've got another puzzle. First of all, we need to clear the place. So, your death lord. Well, we'll try it. But oh, I don't know. We might just do it. <laughs> Fair enough. He's got a friend now. Yep, there's his friend. Oops. <laughs> All that running for nothing. So, again, just going to quickly scope out the situation first of all before we start playing around with uh, the puzzle. Let's check for any traps. It's fine. Okay, so as you saw there, here's a snake hidden behind the column. So, no praises for guessing what that needs to be. And then obviously you've got a fish there and a bird there, so uh, let's go do it. So this was a memory like a sieve. There we go, the bird. And then over the other side, we have a whale or fish, whatever it is. And hopefully, I didn't mess up. If I did, we'll soon find out. Nope, there you go. Drawbridge is down, and away we go. So, again, whenever you see a trap like that, if you just step back, um, you always got a bit of a barrier. The traps normally don't trigger um, straight away, so you've got like a couple of seconds to actually get out of harm's way. I'm not sure. I mean, this guy's looking straight at me, but hopefully I can hit him. Oh dear. Oh, we've got a clever one. <laughs> He's in cover. How dare he. Oh no, that's an archer. That is a bad sign. Although, he's not a very good archer, so <laughs> this one probably will be there. Yep, look at his ninja skills. I mean, what is he trying to do? Oops. Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit the guy, but I suck. Let's go. Thank you. Is he dead or is he paralyzed? Because he looked like he went green. I've noticed that recently, I seem to be getting the kill cam every time I try to paralyze someone, so it's really confusing. I think they're dead and they're not. They soon get better. Um, that's chest is empty, it's interesting. Thanks for the ebony arrows. And the reason I normally move around is sneak mode, it's just obviously as an archer, it just helps me a lot. Um, plus fat it's just customary. I just gotta get used to doing it. Another ebony bow, such a shame because I really like those. They are actually my favourite bow. They're not particularly the best. Uh, there's always Daedric ones if you don't have the uh, Dawn Guard DLC or my Dragon Bone bow as well. But I just I just like them. I don't know why. There's something about the design. So I'm just pressing on a little bit further. So I want to mainly get to the main door if I can this episode. Obviously that's set off a fire trap. Um, you can tell that by all the oil looted around the place. Is that charcoal or I don't know. Not even that. Flawless garnet, never noticed that before. Interesting. So even now, after years of playing this game I'm still finding new things out. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, oops, didn't want the linen wrap on the gem. So yeah, that was a nice little find because I, I thought it was like a special skull or something. It turns out it's got a garnet on it. So nice. I've got to be careful here as well because I think we've got some drog at the top of this, as well as just being dizzy. <laughs> Okay, so that's where we're going. Obviously, we need to find a um, timber. Of course, I won't be able to hit him. <laughs> nope, not a chance. So I have to wait for him to stand up. <laughs> no, really? Oh, that is quite annoying, quite frustrating. Okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. Burn. That's right, you just stand in the fire. Nice, two hit, two shot hit. Oh man, that guy's paralyzed again. <laughs> it's not his day, is it? Ah <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. There we go, drawbridge is up. Draugas are down, which is always good. Now, the reason I'm being careful to wait as well is because I know for a fact we've got another dragon priest mask to pick up and also lots of other cool stuff, so I don't want to get too weighted down, although Daedra Carrier is definitely coming along with us. Did I loot this guy? Nope. Good now, though. Thank you. Yeah, let's press on. No more skulls with gems on the heads. <laughs> Thank you. Doo, doo, doo. Claw and dear, I want to get to the main gates out of here. Um, if I can remember where it is. Just so that in the next episode we're set up for a pretty decent fight. Uh, we're going to have to take on two, dragon, uh, two dragons and the dragon priest. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Obviously that plate sets off that fire trap, so we might as well just get rid of it now. It's not a problem. As long as you stay here, you're pretty much safe. Coolie up. So, let's see what we got. Wow, 28 whole gold. Okay, you know, th those both will just set the, the little oil trap off. So, no biggie. Iron battle axe, no thanks. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the dragon priest we're after, it's just a normal, regular dragon priest, but you know, we'll have to take him down because he's got the claw that we need to open the door. There he goes, that's him dealt with. <laughs> And all with ancient Nord arrows. So, because I, I did it on a dry run, it took me forever to take anyone down. Um, but this time it seems to be quite easy. So there, that's all we need: the dragon claw. Um, take that. Okay, kind of funky. So yeah, let's take a look at that bad boy. Gonna go is miscellaneous. Uh, I think it was a diamond claw. I think. Whoop. No, that's a gem. <laughs> there we go. So it's uh, a fox, a moth, and a dragon. So let's do that. Whoops. So fox, moth, dragon. Oh, why did I move the moth? Oops. <laughs> okay. That's because I'm rushing again. Goes and open sesame.
And that's it guys, I don't think I'm going to actually have time to make it to the door. Um, so I'm going to call it here. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I uh, hope you catch me next time where we do take on two dragons, a dragon priest and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> catch you for that next time guys. For now, thanks for watching, take care and peace.